And then he gave me his lighter. Yeah, the church lighter. The church lighter, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a good guy to know all the way now. He's a great guy. All right, Wizard Silver Dollar. Wizard, uh, where are you from? Where'd you grow up? Washington, D.C. And that's where you're based today? I'm all over the globe. But you started in D.C.? Yes. How'd you grow up? You had both your parents as a kid? Yeah, I had both my parents growing up. How was your childhood? It was great, let me tell it. <laughs> yeah, I had a good childhood. No crazy abuse, nothing like that? Nah, none of that type okay. stuff. Yeah. Mm -mm. At what point did you start working as a pimp? When I was 21. Where'd you get the idea? From uh, friends or do you have role models, anything like that? Well, it, it basically came from, I can say it's in my blood for one. I got an older uncle that was a pimp, and, but I had other cousins and stuff that was looking and doing it and stuff like that. And they used to be talking about it and riding down the track and stuff like that. And I used to be just sitting back and getting high and stuff and doing my thing when I was doing the stuff in the streets. But, when I was looking at the movies with them and they talking about it, I realized that was me. So then once I realized that, we had all type of chicks that we was like running trains and shit on, you know, doing stuff that young dudes doing stuff with chicks. And I picked one of the main chicks that was really going, like rolling and stuff. And I told her, did you want to come fuck with this pimp? And, you know, we can get some money and shit like that. So she was with it. And then from there on, I, I just went and kept going up. So you've been doing this for how many years? About 20. 20 yeah. years. Do you have children? Yeah. And are you married? No. Have you been arrested for this before? Yeah. Was that trafficking? Pandering. Pandering. Yeah. So you travel around the country? Mm-hmm. How's it work in different cities? Like in, in Vegas, you're in casinos? Yeah, it worked different in different cities. You know, the casinos in Vegas, then you got the tracks in different states and stuff like that where the prostitutes or the, or the whole stroke. You got the internet. You know, it's all type of ways that you can get money out of, out of dudes. How many girls do you have in your stable? Well, I got like four girls that play their part in my congregation. Yeah. What races are you girls? Black and Spanish. And you have sex with the girls? Yeah. So the pimp style has changed over the years. You seem to be from the old school. Uh, stylish dresser, flashy car. I, I say I come up under the last of the, the old school breed, you know? Nowadays, it's like more the young school, you know, the Jordan, you know, the young, 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 young cats, you know, the young dresses, the jerseys and all that type shit, you know. But I guess they just don't know no better. You have more style? Yeah, they can't fuck with me. What are the qualities a pimp needs to thrive? The quality? What personality traits? To be a good one, you just need to be a good man, period, overall. You know, you gotta know how to treat people, you gotta show respect because you wanna be respected back. You know, and you just gotta wanna be the best at whatever you wanna do, period. And I believe that's in anything. What about the girls in your stable? What'd you say? What qualities do you look for in a girl? Loyalty. I like go getters, I like to, to have ambition, I wanna go get money, you know, and to listen. You know, they got to be able to listen. So what's the arrangement? How much of their money do you take? A hundred percent. I need it all. So what's the, what's the girl get out of it? She gets taken care of. She keep money too. I ain't gonna have her walk around broke. These grown women. What, what do you do when uh, one of your girls gets out of line? Communicate. That's the key. I don't put my hands on them. You don't? No. And what do you do when one of your girls has a, gets a customer who's giving them a hard time, gets in trouble? Well, I teach them how to handle themselves when I'm not around. So they have to handle themselves, and if it's a problem where I can help out, I'm going to always assist. My chick's like family. 
do you think the relationship a girl has with her pimp is somewhat somehow a substitute for the relationship she had with her father? Yes, definitely. They call you daddy? Definitely. Not all of them, but a lot do. Yeah. Are, are drugs a part of the picture for your girls? I don't like drugs part of the picture, but I don't even really accept girls that do hard drugs. What's the craziest thing you've seen in all your years of doing this? The craziest thing? I've seen so many crazy things. I mean, I mean, it, crazy things is like when you talk about girls getting raped, robbed, and stuff like that, and shot at, and stuff, you know, all oh, that's basically like in the same category. It's just, it's, it's a bad situation. And it goes down. What's the longest one of your girls has, has stayed with you? Three years. Three years. If you hadn't become a pimp, what, what other careers do you think you, you might have followed? I was always in the streets, to be honest, so I never liked really working hard. So like dealing drugs and all that, standing outside and all that, I ain't really never was with that. You know, I got to survive, so I did what I had to do with stuff, but I, like, I never liked to work hard, so. No telling what I'd be doing, to be honest. No telling what I'd be doing. What are you proudest of in your life? The proudest of how I've changed my life. That's the proudest. I changed my life for the better and working my way out of the streets and being more in my kids' life and being able to take care of my kids and stuff. So I had to learn to elevate my game to another level because it's always going to be in me. I'm going to always be the person that I am. But I just got to learn. I had to learn to put myself in situations where I can't get in no trouble and stuff like that and still could be me and still don't have to work hard and can still be successful. And overall, my kids love me. Are you raising your kids? Yeah, I help take care of them. They don't stay with me, but you know, I help take care of them. They come visit me. My kids getting older and stuff like that, so they come visit me and I go visit them. And I move around so much so I can just go pop up on them and they getting older so they can pop up on me. Do they know what dad does for a living? Yeah, I'll be honest with my kids about everything. Do you have boys or girls? Both. What happens if one of your kids decides to follow in your footsteps or, or work for somebody like yourself? All I can do is really talk to them. Like I told you, communication is the key. So I, all I can do is talk to them and, you know, give them other options, you know, let them know other options that they can go. And can still, you know, it's a lot of ways to get money and get rich and wealthy. And, you know, so I just, you know, show them other ways and stuff and let them know stuff that I've been through and that can come with it. And it's a good chance that can come with it. Did you graduate high school? Yes. You started at what age again? 21, I was 21, 2021. 20, Can you tell me more about your beginnings as a pimp? Yeah. It went down like I was telling you, like we was having girls that we was, you know, had like little roller chicks that everybody was, you know, sleeping with stuff like that. And I got the main one that was like the leader of all the other girls and stuff like that. So once she was with it, she basically got put to the test because I brought her around, you know, people that was already having sex with her and stuff like that. But now we done, you know, communicated and we said we was going to be on the same page and we're going to get this money together. You know, let's see how this works when you get around now. So once we got around now, she failed the test. You know, and somebody had did something with her, you dig what I'm saying? So like, now I was being tested on what I was going to do about the situation, you know, and I checked the chick about the situation and after I checked her, you know, I ain't having problems no more, you know? So that was a test for me and her. And it went on from there. And I just gradually kept growing and growing and confidence kept getting bigger. And I always knew I could be the best at whatever I did, you know? So that's what went down. And we're going to keep this thing pushing. 
All right. Wizard Silver Dollar, thank you so much for sharing your story, and uh, good luck with wherever you go from here. Thanks. For sure. It's all love, Jack. Church.